Hello everyone, this is Tentacle Clock there here with another action figure review and here we have the Marvel Legends uh, Falcon, the comic book version. So here he is from the front. Here's the side of him. Here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read the top, you can. And here's all the figures in the wave to build Joe Fixit. And then the other side of the box artwork. And then you get the Marvel Legend uh, Marvel logo varnished on the top there. Not much on the bottom besides the DCPI for you guys. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Falcon out of the packaging here. So let's go over his uh, accessories here first. So he comes with Joe Fixit's uh, left leg. And then he comes with these like uh, salute hands. Um, basically just for like going off to the side for his wings. So yeah, those are cool. Red, they have the hinges. So that's good. Uh, and then we've seen these before. It's just transparent and red uh these are the vulture comic book version version of vulture wings that we've seen in the uh demogoblin wave so they just repainted it and used transparent plastic so that's cool and i like how once you move further out kind of the ends are a little more faded and it just gets even more condensed and more red as you get in so that's cool and then you get these other little pieces here. I'll show you how to put them on here in a bit, but yeah. Cool. Uh, and then here's Falcon right here. So, you get the nice face right there. I like it a lot. I like this figure a lot. He is very comic accurate. I love it a lot. So, you get that gold. Uh, I guess, I think that's supposed to be like the beak of a Falcon, kind of. So... Yeah, there's the gold beak there. Um, get the nice face there. Nice white paint. Um, and then you get that very sharp red line through the white there. I don't think they even messed up on that part. Like, you don't even see any white paint spills over that, so they did a good job over the paint there. And you get the red there. You get that little waistline there with the red thin red line between there so that's cool and then you get the gold bracelets too and you get these slots on his arm here so that's supposed to be the smaller one this is supposed to be the longer wings same deal on the other side and you get a peg hole here for him for some reason there's nothing to plug into his back here and then yeah the rest of it is black, uh, red here and you get the like treads on his feet which i think are cool i don't think they Really did that for the, a lot of the Marvel Legend figures, actually. So, it's kind of hard to mess up on the paint apps for this one, except for, like, the thin red lines, which I'm actually really impressed did how they did that. So, that's cool. So, besides that, let's go over his articulation. So, his head can hinge... Ooh. Well, you can kind of see a little bit of red scuffing in there. So, eh, it's not bad. But you can look down that far. You can look up very far so if you're making him look like he's flying he can look like that uh he can look left and right uh no well you get a little bit of head pivoting just a little not a whole lot his shoulders can move past 90 degrees so that's good uh you got a butterfly joint so you can go that far back forward just a little bit but not a whole lot uh you get 360 rotation around the shoulder there you got bicep swivel double jointed elbows Oop, if i can there we go and they got the hidden pins there pinless joints i mean i should say so that's good the wrists can hinge down that far up that far and 360 rotation there he has an ab crunch so he can bend forward that far backwards just a little bit he has a waist swivel, so you get 360 rotation around the waist there he can kick out pretty far more than normal for marvel legends so that's really good he could kick forward a little past 90 degrees so that's really good backwards just a little bit you got a thigh cut you got double jointed knees i'm surprised they didn't do the uh pinless joints for the knees here it's like one or the other now for figures just do both um but yeah um so you get to do pretty close to a butt kick so that's good. You got a shin cut there. 
his ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. And for the uh, wings here, so the slots here, so I think these are supposed to be for the right. So you just want to plug them in like this, the other one like this, oops, or maybe it's supposed to be the other way, yeah, maybe, I don't know, can't really tell. Maybe it's supposed to be like this. Sorry, Mike. If you hear some my cat's making a bunch of noises with the boxes and stuff. Let me grab that piece that fell here. The smaller pieces are a pain to keep staying inside. So, a little bit of a pain. Just a little bit of a heads up. There we go. So, you get that there, but still keeps falling. I, I don't know if it has to click. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, it fits in there because they've made like a little slot here for the bigger one, so it fits in there pretty good. So that's good. And then next one, hopefully we won't have the same problem, but first, big one. I think the best idea is probably to start with the big wings first and then work your way to the smaller one. So, bam, clicks right in. So there's that. And then there's Falcon for you. So I like this figure a lot. I like what they did. Um, I'm not a huge fan in the, how they do the wings, but maybe they could figure out some better way to do them. Not sure, but um, I think they feel a lot better in with Falcon than they did with Vulture, which I'm happy about. So yeah, um, like I said, this is my first, I think, classic Falcon figure. So I don't really have anything to compare it to. I think this is the first time Hasbro's made a comic version of Falcon. So I'm happy about that. I'll have them displayed with my Avengers, like vintage comic version of Avengers. So I'll have them flying over uh, once I get another display um, stand for him uh, and a few other figures. So yeah, uh, but I like this figure a lot. I am really happy that we actually got this one. So, um, honestly, I don't have any complaints about this one. I can't really think of one. He has really good articulation and really good paint apps. Um, they have the pinless joints for his elbow, uh, but not for his knees. But I guess the pinless joints don't really bother me that much, but it's a pretty cool idea. And they should keep doing that for more and more figures. But this time, maybe... Just do that for all of them, all the joints, so knees and elbows for now on, instead of just choosing one or the other, just do both. And then, yeah, I guess, but it's not gonna bother me a whole bunch if they don't do it, so. I honestly, I like it a lot, so. Um, besides that, I think the only problem I have is probably the wings, but it's not that hard to install them. I'm just a little worried that they'll fall uh, pretty easily if you're trying to maneuver the figure or something, so. It's kind of tricky. Like if you try to bend, sh I guess, no, I think you're perfectly fine with it actually. So honestly, no problems with the mouth. So that's all I've got. Hell cut. <laughs>